Good morning. I'm a daily vlogger now. Say hi to the internet, Jeffy. Oh, this is an invasion of my private <laughs> What's up friends? Um, hello. I figured today I was gonna do like a uh, kind of old-school vlog But also integrate all these questions that you guys were asking me on Twitter I said I was gonna do a Q&A, but then I realized sitting down and answering questions in one spot sounded boring Also, I have a busy day today, so let's combine the two. That's called so I'm early for a lunch meeting, so I figured I would answer some of your questions and get this party started. Um, Becca wants to know, will you continue to do try-on hauls? They're my favorite. Becca, you're my favorite. Yes! I know some people are not thrilled that my channel has become a lot of, like, fashion type stuff, but I fucking love it, so that's what it's is yes lucy asks do you watch any youtubers weekly or whenever they post or do you kind of just see what's on the recommended page um i used to like be so tried and true to all my subscriptions subscriptions the people i want am subscribed to i should know this considering i've been on youtube forever um but i feel like i don't know about you guys but i feel like over the last even just like couple of months i don't know i feel a little bit bored with what I'm watching um and I feel like everyone's so inconsistent including myself with their upload schedule that it's like every day is a little bit different in terms of what I watch but I would love to get some recommendations for some new positive people to watch because I just feel like it's become such like a toxic place recently and I'm not about that life give me someone fun to follow Brittany wants to know what gets you motivated to make videos um, I feel like back in the day I was like all about a schedule and I was like taking it so seriously more as like a job and a business and now I feel like I'm just trying to make videos that like excite me like sitting in the car talking to you guys before I go into lunch <laughs> um, so I'm really just like trying not to force anything anymore I think I did that uh, many a times over the years and you could probably tell when those were so I'm just trying to like do it when I do it but also stay consistent that all didn't make any sense I just try to have fun and hopefully you have fun too okay I'm gonna go eat sushi I'll be back in a little bit yes oh my god I ate so much sushi I feel like I'm gonna barf is that a question what's the one thing you eat that makes you feel like you're gonna barf sushi because I can't control myself um also I can't control myself because home goods is right across from where the sushi place is and I don't know if you have ever been to home goods but it's quite possibly my favorite place on the earth besides Target and I like literally can't help myself but go in and check out what they have even though I really seriously don't need anything else for my house but like you never know so let's go do that and then we'll answer some more questions yes okay so I'm home now I did not get anything from home goods but I did go to the mall to get my coffee Nespresso not sponsored however wish it was because that shit's very expensive but i'm addicted so here's the thing i said i didn't want to just sit in front of my camera and do these q a's with you that i wanted to take you out into the world but i realized two things about that one i really don't like vlogging in public I, in fact i don't even really like being out in public so the fact that i'm out in public with a camera like gives me the most anxiety so yeah that's not gonna work and two my life um is kind of boring like literally today all i did was run errands and have lunch the lunch part was delightful and i'm still full but now I thought I'd bring you into my kitchen. I'm going to make a cocktail and continue to answer your questions. It's happy hour Q&A. What do you say? Let's do it. We're doing a Q&A. You want to answer one for me? Yes. Okay. Emma wants to know what is my favorite breakfast food? Mush. You have a proprietary mush that you make from uh, gross protein powder, nuts, like three blueberries and yogurt. <laughs> Coconut yogurt, not the regular kind of yogurt because that is nuclear fart fuel for Lisa Schwartz. That's true. If you want to see what I eat in a day, it's pretty much mush, but I can show it to you. I'm going to do all your questions. Nobody needs you anymore. Hit me. Okay, but let's make cocktails while we do it. You. Allie wants to know, are you considering another pet to add to your family one day? Allie, um, there's been discussion 
Uh, I even sent her a link to a ferret account that I find charming. You want a ferret? Thought about it. It's not up to us, it's to, it's up to Queen Corny, who we are very nervous, would be very upset if anything else Look at her, got at any love. So, talk to Corn. <laughs> Courtney needs to answer that question. Tonight on the cocktail list, Jeff is going to be having a $3 rosé that I picked up for him at Trader Joe's. I dare you to taste the difference. Um, side note, not a question, but something I'm gonna tell Jeff and the rest of you is that Jeff and I are gonna become Twitchers. Huh? We're gonna start, um, I have a Twitch channel now. Uh, it's called I'm Lisa Schwartz. I am, not AM, just I am. Can you put this like drink on YouTube or whatever? Yeah. Cool. This is the first I'm hearing about it. Um, yeah. But guys, Twitch, you know what I mean? And what I'm thinking is because we love doing those Bachelor videos, um, but we did not love the editing process of I it. I grudgingly love it. No, you enjoy, like, we like, whatever. I think we're gonna do like a watch the Bachelor in Paradise live with us when that comes on, and maybe a little Big Brother. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments below. Lari21 says, in what aspect would you say you change most from your 22 year old self? What would you say to her? I'm 22 and one could say in my 20 life crisis, like who even am I? I get that. I feel like the changes in your 20 is so drastic. Don't you think? Uh, the 20s is a decade where the amount that you care about what other people think starts to decline, in which case your personal happiness will increase. So uh, it's the death of giving a crap about other people. So yeah, that would be good advice to tell your like younger self is that don't care so much about what other people think. Even though we're having- This tastes like shit. This tastes like shit. How did I fuck that up? Even though the internet is so toxic and it's really hard to not get wrapped up in what other people think about you. I think like it is so important to put other people's opinions aside so that you can just live your best life. Which brings me to what happened to me today, which Jeff helped me get through. I'm usually pretty good about people saying mean things about me on the internet and to be fair, people are pretty kind to me on the internet. But today I posted something on my Instagram of me in short shorts and one girl wrote, like, dear Lord, please do some squats. And it was super offensive and it hurt my feelings and I felt bad about myself. And to be honest, I went to the gym after that and I looked in the mirror and I thought that I looked terrible and I know that's because that sunk in and what she was saying to me like really affected me, which is so messed up. Anyways, I took the comment down because I thought it was super toxic. But all of the point of all this is to say, like, I get it. I get how other people's opinions of you affect you, um, but Jeff, advice was what did i tell you literally the other day i was quoting cisco's the thong song to you because girl you got thighs like what 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 also that girl must be pretty miserable to have to like say that and i shouldn't let just some random person like bring me down but uh yeah that's what i would tell my 21 year old self also to have a great time also to invest in real estate and also to appreciate the obama years because i don't think i appreciated them enough all Cheers. right, I'm back for the Schwartz Q&A where I answer all of Lisa's questions. What do you got? This is good because I said I was going to take them around today and then I realized I wasn't doing anything fun today. This is better than places. Oh, this is a great one. Sarah asked, do you ever worry that the internet will mess with your current relationship? Do you think it has affected your old ones? If so, how? Nah, I'm impervious to the internet's bullshit. <laughs> Bring it on. Yeah, but I mean like... I'm going to regret saying that. No, I think like to be honest, like it kind of ruined my last relationship and then a former, former relationship. You guys don't know who I'm talking about, even though you think you do. Um, Ooh. I know, Ooh. Ooh. well they're gonna think it's, I'm talking about shame, but I'm not talking about shame. Um, I think that there is something about like putting your whole life on the internet, sure. but I feel like since we've been together, we haven't really done that that much and also. No, in fact people, a couple of you commenters want more of this guy, so you know. Let her know. <laughs> but also I feel like you, um, we have like a really solid relationship and we're good at talking about things and I like, so. I feel like we just don't let all that get to it. But definitely in the past, my last relationship, he was uncomfortable on camera. And so that was weird. That's not my problem. Most of the commenters say I'm too comfortable. <laughs> uh, 
Also, again, people have commented on my George Michael eyebrows, but you think that hurts, but that's the best thing you could have said to me. I love George so, Michael. Exactly. Yeah. So try as you might. But I think they're talking more about you and me, not about you, but you I really know. wanted to take this opportunity <laughs> to talk about my eyebrow. Are you and Jeff living together? Yes. Yeah. Very much so at this point. I'm his landlord. Uh, yes, I do pay Lisa Schwartz rent. Uh, but I feel like now we've been living together for seven months. Did I make that up? Six, Whoa. seven months? Yeah. So now it feels kind of like our place. And it feels like I've kind of like amoebaed my way in. And like I have stuff around here now. And we got really, I know. We like hung stuff on the wall we together. Hung things. We have tchotchkes that we found together. That's huge. So I feel like I do live with you. And I'm fucking my landlord. <laughs> oh my goodness. Lucy asks, any conspiracies that you wholeheartedly stand by? I feel like you're actually more trusting than uh, a conspiracy person would be. Yeah, but I feel like the ones that I really stand by are like the government's making us sick, which we talked about the other I night. I just said that the other night. I know. I also for sure think that there's aliens. I also for sure think that um, YouTube plays favorites and the algorithm is not just an algorithm. It's there's some sort of like favorites to it and I'm not one of them. <laughs> that that the um, your iPhone around the two year mark starts to break down. Oh yep. yes, yep. Uh, that Ed, they're listening. Yeah. We already know that they're listening to everything. Mm -hmm. Oh god, this makes me stressed. Yeah, webcam, block the webcam. Oh, block the webcam. Yeah. Oh. I'm enjoying this. Should we get into 9/11? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Maybe not. There's your thumbnail. You uh, want some clicks? They block those conspiracy videos now. We can't talk too much about it. Great. Mad says, how do you keep yourself so organized? It's a disorder. She can't help it. <laughs> I'm on medication and I still fucking organize everything. There you go. Actually, fun fact, you're very organized and clean too. I feel like I might have like mild undiagnosed OCD. I, I, you absolutely do and that makes you <laughs> the best roommate. Our apartment is pretty spick and span. You freak out like I can't eat dinner until like pans are clean. You can't eat dinner until pans are clean either. No, that's what I mean. Like I can't eat dinner until pans are clean. Yeah, and our food gets cold. But and that's you're okay. just like sit down and relax, and I'm like, not nah, till this cheese is off that fork. Yeah, so. but I guess like advice for that is just to like first and foremost start getting rid of stuff that you don't use that's like cluttering, and also like I like worked really hard to pay my rent on my own back in the day, and so in doing so, I was like, I worked hard for this. I want to make this a nice place. And like the only time my place is like a huge mess is when I'm depressed. And then what makes me feel better is cleaning True. it. So I like try to like take some sense of pride in my place. Well, they want advice on how to stay organized? Yeah, she was just asking how you stay so organized besides having OCD. <laughs> Here is some advice that nobody asked me for. Help somebody move just one time. Just and the amount of crap. Then you will left. go home and you will throw out 85% of what you want. Yeah, or watch an episode of the Hoarders. Sure. Yeah. Which you should do anyway, because it's delightful. Oh, it is, but that actually really does make you want to clean. It's horrifying. Disorder. Anyways, y'all, uh, this was fun. Hope you enjoyed this. Sorry we didn't go around more in the day, but if you want to see more like old school vlog style stuff with us, I just like brought you into that. Uh, let us know in the comments sure. below. We're I'm turning gonna, into a couples channel. I'm gonna take a shower. Follow me. <laughs> um, also, head over to Twitch. Start following me. I have no idea how Twitch works, but I am going to uh, give it a try. And if you have any suggestions as to like what you want to see over there, I like this idea of live streaming, um, specifically because I can interact with you guys and also I don't have to edit. Hey, it's like YouTube for lazy people, and I'm all about it. I love you guys so much in the comments below. Answer all those questions that I threw at you throughout this video. And also let me know what you want to see next video. I have a collab with Sierra going up next week that I'm really excited about and some other fun things up my sleeve. So I will see you guys there. Thanks for watching. You're cute. See you next time. Bye. Oh, <laughs> I just caught you guys in a moment. Somebody asked on Twitter if I'm jealous of the relationship between you and Corny. Should be. <laughs> what do you think, Corny? What do you think?